Hi, my name is Mo Crane and I'm the owner and CEO of Crane Rehab Center. As a physical therapist, one of the things that we feel very strongly about is activity and exercise. Uh, one of our mantras is move often and move well. And because we're just finishing up February, which is considered Heart Healthy Month, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit today about the benefits of cardiovascular exercise. Now, first of all, cardiovascular exercise is any exercise that uses a large muscle group to elevate our heart rate. The reason this is important is, is by training our heart, we increase our stamina. So we are increasing our ability to get up from a chair, to walk up and down stairs, to perform our normal activities of daily living such as shopping, going to the bank. These are very important things, particularly as we start to get older, because without training our cardiovascular system, we will lose the ability to perform these activities easily. Some of the most common cardiovascular activities and the ones that we advocate are walking, biking, swimming, uh, activities such as an elliptical trainer. All of these activities are activities that can increase your heart rate and increase your stamina. When you're performing these exercises, you want to make sure that you get your heart rate up to a certain level, and that level is age-based. There's a formula that we use, which is called the Carvonin formula, and that formula is you take 220, subtract your age, and then you take 60% of that number. Whatever number that is, that is the, the, the heart rate number that you want to reach through your exercise. If you are training within this range, you'll start to see improvements in your cardiovascular system, such as your ability to perform activities with less fatigue. You can also measure your gains in cardiovascular uh, capacity by checking your resting heart rate. The average resting heart rate is somewhere between 75 and 85 beats per minute. So anything lower than that is going to indicate improved aerobic capacity, improved uh, cardiovascular efficiency. The lower your resting heart rate is, the better shape you're in. What that means is, is that per one beat of your heart, you are able to get more oxygen to your body so that your heart doesn't have to beat as many times or work as many times to get energy and oxygen to the muscles that need them. These are some great exercises that you can do for your cardiovascular system. So I encourage you to begin a program, begin a simple program. It can be just walking, walking for five to 10 minutes a day and build up to at least a minimum of 20 to 30 minutes every day in any type of exercise that you do. So I thank you for giving me some time today to listen to me. I hope that you take some of these suggestions to heart and that you begin this program. Next month we'll come back and we're gonna talk about another aspect of of move often and move well. Thank you.